Welcome to Sports Talk. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Nick. And I'm Jackson. From Top Notch Sports. And today we're going to be going over the Green Bay Packers free agency frenzy. And we're going to discuss what we think they're going to do with this upcoming free agency period, what they're going to do this upcoming offseason, and during the draft. So stay tuned for this. And I'm going to just start this off like this. I predict them to re-sign Aaron Jones. No, all right. All right, listen, we might be cheating a little bit. We It is the day. They just did re-sign Aaron Jones, which currently puts his team in the negatives. They're negative $3.5 million after bringing in Aaron Jones, a running back, on a four-year, $48 million deal. That's $12 million a year if people can't do the math. And that, and I'm pretty sure it's a $13 million signing bonus. Now, listen, that's pretty good to start off free agency. I'm kind of shocked that they drafted A.J. Dillon last year and then decided to bring back Aaron Jones. I love Aaron Jones. I think he's a do all kind of running back in the NFL. I'm just kind of shocked they're willing to give this guy $12 million a year after they just got someone like A.J. Dillon. But let me tell you something. This is a one-two power punch for real. So I'm excited to see what they can do. But, Jackson, go ahead. Break down the current state of this team with negative $3.5 million to work with. Go ahead. Look, I'm just going to go ahead and say it right now before I look break down this team. I, I'm I'm not a fan of signing Aaron Jones. I really ain't. And when I'm like, if I'm Aaron Rodgers, you draft a running back last year, and this dude's been freaking out for receivers the past couple of years, I'm pissed, man. You could have took that $12 million a year and put it towards a guy like Will Fuller, but – I don't know. I mean, I'm not the GM of this team for a reason. Um, I'm not a fan of the Aaron Jones signing. I rather would have been put on a guy like a Will Fuller possibly. Now without their negative $3 million in the hole, I mean, they can't really go out and get a guy like Will Fuller anymore. Um, but the state of this team, I feel like they're in a pretty good spot other than maybe some wide receivers. They got Devontae Adams. They got Marquez Valdez-Scantling, and then they got no one else. But – I want to talk about their defense for a minute. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of how their defense is set up. I like that they have – they got Preston Smith on one edge. You got Zadaria Smith coming up on the other edge. You got the two inside linebackers. Kenny Clark's a beast um, at um, defensive tackle. Um, you got young Darnell Savage at free safety. You got Adrian Amos, who just took a contract restructure not too long ago, playing strong safety. You got Jair Alexander, one of the best young corners in the league. I mean, this team um, almost made a push for the Super Bowl. They almost got there. Um, they played um, toe-to-toe with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady in the NFC Championship game. I think this team is a very solid weapon away, like a Will Fuller, like I mentioned, um, away from possibly getting to the Super Bowl. But now that all that money is put on Aaron Jones, I mean, I don't think they can bring a guy like him in anymore. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, look, Aaron Jones, I honestly think that Aaron Rodgers likes Aaron Jones because of the fact that he is able to do a little bit of everything, catch a ball in the backfield, go up and ca- catch balls, run balls. He's able to do a little bit of everything. He did fumble a lot in that playoff game, which kind of frustrated the hell out of me for you Packers fans. I was cheering for you guys. I truly was. But look, um, to me, I look at it like this. You got negative three and a half. Probably not making a lot more moves unless you restructure a bunch of contracts. Aaron Rodgers wants to win now. Maybe they potentially trade up in this upcoming draft to maybe go and get a guy, maybe like a Devontae Smith. They want to win now. Right, they want to win now. That that's for dang sure. Right, the Aaron Rodgers wants to win, and maybe you make up to Aaron Rodgers by trading up around probably pick 15, 16, 18, maybe twenty, and get a guy maybe like Devontae Smith. I mean, you think about Jamar Chase going to be going early for sure. Devontae Smith might be going, but I think Devontae Smith for some reason is falling down boards, and Jalen Waddle is rising boards. And I feel like if honestly the Packers can get either of those two guys, a Waddle or a Devontae Smith, that would be a huge move for Aaron Rodgers. I mean, you got Devontae Adams in either Smith or Jalen Waddle. That adds explosion to that receiving room. And if not, and you say put where you are, maybe you can get someone like Hedarius Tony from Florida. So, I mean, that's definitely another option. But to me, you got to get this guy a weapon, a receiver. You got Aaron Jones. He can catch the ball in the backfield. He makes things he makes things happen. He's explosive. But now maybe you got to, in my opinion, you got to attack that wide receiver position and give him somebody, like I mentioned, like a, a either a Kadarius Tony around their pick or, or you trade him against Smith or Waddle. I think those would be two huge playmakers for this team, not only this year, but for years to come. I mean, yeah, I agree with you. If they can if go up and they can get a guy like Devontae Smith who just won the Heisman Trophy, I mean, it would be 
shocking to me, especially that now he's falling downwards. I mean, it'd be shocking, but it'd be a hell of a move for this team. And it would really just, you know, put their commitment into this team now saying, all right, we want to win right now. And then you would have Devontae Adams. You'd have another Devontae and Devontae Smith. I mean, this offense would be set. Um, I would like to see him create more money somehow, whether that's restructuring more con- contracts, excuse me, and bring back Robert Tunyon. I feel like Robert Tunyon was a, a big piece, um, big successor in this team this past season, really was that big target for Aaron Rodgers when he needed him the most. He had a lot of touchdowns for his team. So if they can bring in Robert Tunyon, again, it'd probably be a relatively cheap deal. Maybe it's because it's another prove-it year for him because he broke out kind of out of nowhere. So maybe like that $5 million range. If you can create, what is it? Like, if you can get eight more million dollars by restructuring contracts and you put that towards Robert Tunyon, I think that'd be a great move for this team. Nonetheless, I think this team's in a very good spot. Like you said, trade up and possibly get a guy like Devontae Smith or if they want to hang around their pick and draft um, Kadarius Tony. I mean, this team, I'd like I said in the end of the video, they're, they're a weapon away, I think. Absolutely. And here, here's my opinion. Um, we may say, well, what will it cost them to trade up a good amount, 15, 17? And it might, it might cost them a little bit. I don't think nothing crazy or insane. But to me, you look at this. What does this team need post Aaron Rodgers? Not really too much. If you bring in someone like Devontae Smith or Jalen Waddle, you got your future quarterback riding behind him right now. You got your future running back riding behind Aaron Jones. And Aaron Jones has four more years. Probably some voids in there somewhere where they can get away and not lose so much money if they want to move on from him and go with. But your team's still set. Maybe you draft a, a left tackle for the future. Dylan Raddunz maybe in the second round if you don't have to give that up to trade up. Maybe you do. But this team is set for years. Another guy I would really like to see them bring back is an Alan Lazard. I mean, this guy's a pretty good player too, in my opinion. There's a lot of guys I would like to see this team bring back. Maybe get Kevin King, Alan Lazard. Just bring back these guys that don't want these huge contracts. Free up some money, restructure a few deals, which is very possible in uh, today's NFL. This wasn't really possible too many years ago where where you're able to do like some of these crazy things teams are doing now. But what I want to point out is, is that you look at a team like the Packers, does it hurt them to trade up for someone like Devontae Smith or Jalen Waddle? I do not think so. And to me, it truly helps this team long term because Waddle and Devontae Adams are really going to help somebody named Jordan Love in the future. And who else is? Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon, and your tight end in Robert Tanyan. So you got to get him back too. The team's pretty young to heart. Has an old quarterback, some old offensive lineman, and you need some retooling here and there at a few other positions. But all in all, this team's a young team with a young coach in Matt LaFleur, who I think that can make this team right off into the sunset for years to come. So uh, uh, Green Bay Packers fans, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this team. And I'm a big fan of your your head coach and Matt LaFleur. And I think this team has years and years to really, really prove themselves. You want to talk about dynasties in the NFL? I think it's time to start putting Green Bay up there because I think they got their future quarterback in Jordan Love. I was a fan of him. He needs to learn a little bit, but he's learning behind one of the best quarterbacks to ever do it. And Matt LaFleur, he's a hell of a coach. So all in all, yeah, I'm liking the odds of this Green Bay Packers team. And if it's up to me, I trade up and I get Devontae Smith or Jalen Waddell around pick 15 to 20. That, that's just me. But anything else to you? Look, I mean, this team's been right there the past two years on the NFC Championship game. Is this the year we see the team get over the hump? I mean, it possibly could be. So with the right moves, I mean, I think they can get there. Absolutely. And look, I I, I cheered for the Buccaneers a little bit here and there because, I mean, all right, it's Bruce. I was cheering for Bruce and Devin White and Levante David and the Dominic Gunsu, the older guys. Not Devin, now Devin White's not old, but those guys. Vita Vea, too. I like him, too. But and now we need someone to kick their damn ass, and I want the Green Bay Packers to do it. So, Green Bay fans, if you're if you're a fan of the Cheeseheads, say something in the ah. comment section below. I'm a fan of you guys. You got to kick Cheese their emojis, damn ass. Baby. I'm tired of Tampa Bay. I'm tired of Tampa Bay already. It's been one year, but I'm tired of them. Beat them badly this year and prove your dominance for year to co- years to come. I'm excited to see what the Green Bay Packers have to do. Anything else, Jackson? 
I got nothing, Nick. That's all, guys. We'll see you guys soon. This wraps up our free agency frenzy videos. Scouting analysis and mock drafts are coming next. So be sure to stay tuned. Leave a like and subscribe for much more content. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. We are. Say it one more time. One more time. Better. For some reason, I can't hear him. So I'm going to say it myself. Built better. See you guys soon. Peace.